Well, hello and a very warm welcome to Business Today TV. I am Chetan Bhutani. Well, state-owned telecom infrastructure provider Intel uh, has come out with its uh, quarter two numbers, and of course, um, a dividend announcement has also come from Intel. And today, I am joined by the chairman and managing director, uh, Mr. Sanjay Kumar. Mr. Sanjay, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, first question: Can you tell us about the numbers? Sir? A really great set of numbers: 23% growth in profit. Uh, 68 percent, uh, 68 crore rupees uh, revenue growth, and 40 percent also a great set of numbers coming in. So, what are you attributing these numbers to? See, this uh, quarter we have performed uh, uh, with projects uh, very well, uh, and uh, the margins, the projects which we were, we were working with, working on, were um, uh, carrying healthy margins. So uh, that's why these results uh, are there before you. Uh, the way they are we have performed uh, well it's compared to last quarter uh, and we we are sure that project performance will continue to be there uh, throughout the year right sir and sir if i look at ebitda margin sir also about up 15 uh, odd percent uh, don't you think that ebitda could have been a little higher on the upper side sir because considering A rapid consumption has happened, and rapid expansion plans have also taken place in this current quarter. See, on one side, project business is coming with the not that high margin, and the proportion of project is also increasing. So that's why Abita overall, if you take, if you see, uh, will remain uh, almost in that same uh, range, eighteen to twenty percent odd numbers. Sure, and uh, if I may come on the order books, sir, how is it coming like, especially and uh, on your outlook on the projects business, sir? So uh, this year we are expecting somewhere around eighteen to two thousand, eighteen hundred to two thousand uh, kind of uh, new orders coming in. So thirteen hundred we have already clocked, and uh, if you talk of uh, overall performance of the project, so we will maintain the kind of five to six percent. margins in project business also sir are there any changes in your fy24 revenue and ebitda growth guidance no change we will continue to uh, maintain sustain the same numbers 15% 25% of uh, revenue growth and 18 to 20% ebitda match right and also sir when it comes to the expansion plans for uh, free public wifi services a uh, retail is quite a leader there sir uh, you know you have done massive expansion especially after 2019 and you know uh, even covid lockdowns you uh, had managed to pick up the speed sir what is the speed looking like and how much expansion are you currently looking at see we uh, in in wifi uh, market actually there is no market per se as such globally you won't see any example but we have created an example by monetizing uh, this uh, ecosystem of wifi and we are strengthening it uh, supporting our partner and we are sure that uh, it should uh, result in good uh, uh, numbers of and and user experience also for the users as well mm, let us see uh, we are hopeful of uh, wifi to remain sustainable Sure, sir. And sir, if I come to the numbers for Wi-Fi, sir, it's humongous, coming out to about forty-six lakh GB of data really being consumed uh, at the railway station, sir. Uh, how much uh, is there any interesting trend trend that you would like to highlight when it comes to mobility through railway? Yes, uh, if you if you see the uh, the kind of data available in the market, so we are not expecting any uh, uh, any surprise numbers. because everybody is carrying data on their mobile so many times they don't log in into our wifi networks many times they log into but this is certainly going to be there and numbers increase since this is in uh, railway stations will depend on the uh, customer traffic uh, passenger traffic basically of uh, railway passengers uh, but we see that this momentum will continue to be there not at very high pace but uh, data consumer data data consumption will be increasing at uh, maybe sometimes uh, due to some event like t20 or world cup this numbers these these data consumption increase but on an average uh, this going to be there the same way right and also if i uh, speak to you regarding the lte and the coverage rollouts it's really a big market 
uh, close to about 30 to 40,000 odd crore rupees. What share of, uh, what pie of this market are you targeting, sir? And by what time are you looking to uh, get some into it, sir? So, LTE and Kabaj, this this mark, this business volume uh, is uh, around 30,000 crores. And this is going to be uh, implemented in another six to seven years. And uh, as far as LTE is concerned, uh, we we are still uh, basically working on the standards. How will they work with coverage kind of solutions? So just now the, the coverage solution is working with different technology. It has to be now uh, uh, proofed on, uh, on, an, on, an, on a concept uh, basis. And Railtel is also uh, uh, working on a POC uh, to be done uh, on railways. We are we are talking to new uh, new uh, comers as well as the existing OEMs of coverage, and we have not yet uh, finalized any single one. But we are in touch with uh, most of them. So right, we so are sure. Four to that, yeah, four to five thousand kind of crores of is the minimum which we are looking at. It can be even more. Sure, sir. Got it. Uh, also, last time when we were speaking, sir, uh, you had mentioned that OEMs were uh, in the last certain OEMs were in the last stage of approval by the RDSO. Uh, has it finally got some approvals on a go ahead, or is it still in work in progress? This this may be in the last legs, uh, so it's still not come out. There are only three right now. In fact, few more have all, few more uh, OEMs have also joined, and they are likely to uh, file their uh, uh, approval requests. With RDSO. Sure, sir. Also, uh, if I come to the expansion plan, sir, uh, uh, are you also looking towards expansion in education, MSMEs, uh, probably uh, smart cities and so on? What is the plan there, sir, and what all uh, can we expect? So, a smart city, we are already working. Education, we are already uh, working in few states. Uh, as far as expansion is concerned, so in future, we'll be focusing on cybersecurity, artificial intelligence, digital twin kind of uh, tools which where we need to develop use cases and we are working with uh, industry uh, startups as well as uh, uh, industry uh, wizards including industry leaders also uh, on working use cases for Indian environment including Indian railways. Right sir, if I come to artificial intelligence sir, uh, you know that is the new norm for all the companies including the IT sector as well. And I'm sure the government is also looking towards the same aspect, sir. What is Railtel in particular doing towards AI, sir? So AI, uh, like uh, uh, train control system, it can be very well used for train control system using AI because that gives you uh, operational efficiency. So there are many use cases of, for AI. Sure, sir. Sir, also the government had, uh, you know, in the union budget announced a massive uh, budget for about... 1 lakh crore rupees when it comes to modernizing the signaling system and uh, you are also very actively working in that uh, say area as well, sir. Uh, what are the uh, business plans out of that, sir? Any uh, constructive uh, development that has happened towards that fact? So out of 1 lakh crore, which is, which is likely to be spent over next uh, maybe 5 to 6 or 7 years, Railtel is eyeing um, an a minimum pie of around 15 to 20 percent out of that. It, this includes actually LT and coverage also. And we have started working on uh, uh, tie-ups with industry. We we are not established player in this industry, but we are sure because of our manpower pool, uh, who are expert in uh, signaling and uh, signaling systems, uh, we'll be uh, making a dent with the uh, good momentum in this sector. Sure, sir. And it was my last set of questions, sir. Uh, uh, how is quarter three and quarter four looking like and any outlook that you would like to give us, sir? Uh, I would say that we will be maintaining 25% of revenue growth guidance and EBITDA margin uh, in the range of 18 to 20%. So, all right, sir. And uh, sir, any development as far as the merger between the railway, uh, Railtel Enterprises and Railtel, uh, Railtel Corporate is concerned, sir? It is already done. Rail Sorry, Trail Enterprise I'm Limited. I'm the synergy, so, see, Rail Trail Enterprise Limited was a subsidiary of Railtel for doing project business initially, but after this AGR uh, uh, 
decision came out, uh, uh, verdict came out from Supreme Court, then there was no relevance. That's why we decided to close this. And we have started already working on projects from realtor side. Earlier, we were not working on projects from realtor side. All right, Mr. 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 Kumar, thank you so much for joining us and wishing you all the best, especially in the festive season. I know, but not, not a lot of uh, attraction from the festive season can come over, but yes, wishing you all the best for a steady growth. So thank you so much thank for joining us. Thank you very much. Yes. And in fact, to your platform, I would like to wish all, all your uh, viewers, investors, stakeholders, uh, very uh, uh, happy Diwali. Uh, thank you very much. And sir, if you 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 have actually uh, you know given your best wishes for the investors as well, uh, what is your message for the retail investors? And uh, do you think they should be keeping themselves invested? And what is your strategy to call on new investors on board, sir? New shareholders on board? I, I can only say that the kind of confidence they have, confidence and trust they have reposed in us. Uh, if they continue with the same kind of confidence, support, and of course blessings. Uh, Realtel will continue to do better and better and better. Uh, Mr. Mikwa, pleasure as always to speak to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. If you like the video, do like, comment, share, and subscribe.